Hi, I'm Carissa Schreck. I'm an assistant professor of neurology and oncology at Johns Hopkins University. And I'm speaking at ASCO about molecularly targeted therapy for low-grade glioma, aside from IDH inhibitor therapy. So over the past few years, we've recognized the frequency of BRAF and other targetable alterations in low-grade glioma. These tend to be in well-circumscribed and diffuse low-grade glioma that is pediatric type in nature. BRAF V600 and BRAF rearranged um, mutant low-grade glioma both have available targeted therapy for them now. There are two FDA-approved agents for some types of low-grade glioma, including the combination of dabrafenib trametinib as well as tovarafenib, which was FDA-approved earlier this year. There are clinical trial data supporting both of these indications in pediatric as well as in adult low-grade glioma, along with some emerging data for high-grade glioma. In addition, uh, clinicians should be aware that NTRAC, ROS, and ALK fusions may also be targetable with phase two data suggesting efficacy in low-grade glioma as well as high-grade glioma. So in summary, I recommend that clinicians look for and identify BRAF rearrangements and BRAF fusions. Ensure that your panel, your next generation sequencing panel is evaluating for those um, in order to identify these targetable alterations in patients, um, as well as to remember that there are FDA approved treatment options for some patients with low and high grade glioma, and that other targetable alterations may be identified as well. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.